one other item that I quite often get asked about in titles is how do I create an arrow that I can point to something with? Now, I'm going to show you how to create an arrow in this particular tutorial and in a few tutorials time we're going to be moving on to moving things around in motion in Premiere Pro and at that point I'll show you how you can take that arrow and you can physically shift it around and have it animate around your screen but this tutorial is simply how do I create a half decent arrow so I'm going to hit Control T or Command T on a Mac to hit a new title and I'm going to call this my arrow and click OK and it opens up the title design window and now I'm ready to create a title so I'm going to choose my text tool click in the window and instantly I'm going to change the font so I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to use Arial so I'm just going to start typing A-R-I and by the time I got to A-R-I I've got Arial so Arial will be my font and I want to make it quite a lot bigger so I'm just going to drag up the font size 332 is what I've actually done but notice it's not selected anymore so I actually need to click on this area to make it flash and now I can start doing my arrow the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shift and hit the arrow button if you like that's just to the right of the M key on my keyboard and I get that particular item and then I'm going to hit the key that's next to the zero key on my normal keyboard to get three or four lines however many you want now that doesn't look like an arrow but bear in mind we can play with these as much as we like so I'm going to select these final bits here and I'm going to play with the kerning and I'm going to kern them just drag it in till they become one line and if I want to make it even bigger I can still go back to the font size and change the font size to make those lines bigger and then I can go down to the fill type and it's a solid at the moment but I can change its color so if I click in the little color swatch let's make it a red click OK and if I want I can even go down to the outer stroke click add outer stroke and it adds a black outer stroke brilliant so that's the line bit done but let's get this arrow bit sorted out let's select that and let's also make that a bit bigger we can make it quite a bit bigger if we like and we want to make that red as well well rather than clicking in the color swatch this time I'm taking the picker click on the picker and go to the red color that I've already selected and it's there same red and now all I need to do for this one is also add a stroke so click add and a stroke's been added now obviously the lines in the wrong place so if I select the line again I can go to baseline shift and when I play with the baseline shift I can shift it up or down until it's exactly in the middle after it's in the middle I need to click between the two items so it's just flashing between the arrowy bit and its tail and at this point I would play with kerning and kerning allows me to pull that line right in and it shows me if my baseline shift is correct as well and I can see I'm a little bit down on that so I'm, I'm going to click and drag on those bits and just quickly go back and quickly go back to my baseline shift just make it a little bit better so it's a little bit more in the right place that's a little bit more balanced so there you go we've created the arrow now if I want the arrow not to be straight I can go to my rotate tool and I can rotate the whole thing to whatever direction I want it to be and obviously the arrow bit and the, the end bits will look different depending on what font you choose however if I go back to my text tool and I select all of that and I start to change the font you'll see that you will need to reset things up depending on how you've ended up doing it so you can see that one kind of looks okay that one's not quite right that one's completely wrong but if you do do this all you can do is go in and you can select the bits that you need to change so I need to change the tail and obviously I need to now go back and move the baseline shift so it's back in the middle and you know what I've got a half decent arrow just by going through that little motion go back to the rotate tool and I've got a really good arrow just by playing with different fonts now once you've got your arrow created you can take the selection tool and actually grab these handles and physically change its size but do bear in mind that you can then affect how it's going to look and it might need resetting up so try and get it right to start off with so that you can then play and move it around and then we can animate this on screen and when we get to the motion section I'll show you how you can animate it around but let's just add it to our scene so I'm going to shut down the title creation box 
now you can see it's not used in my scene at the moment so I can drag it onto the screen and there it is not quite in the right place but I'm going to show you how to move that in another tutorial